Last time on Total Drama Redemption Island, teams were tasked with showing off how well they knew their teammates, as it turned out quite a lot for Ravenous Raccoons, as they even knew things about the opposing team members, but sadly, Agitated Alligators knew basically nothing. As a result, it was an easy sweep as Ravenous Raccoons won with only one member being out of the challenge. Damien tried to make it look like Brick wanted to go home, but Bierdo stopped that from happening, and Damien had to say goodbye to Redemption Island. Eva asks Axel who they should get rid of first, and Axel says they should get rid of Bierdo. He wasn't part of the original alliance to begin with. Eva points out that if Bierdo didn't flip, there is a high likelihood they would have been voted out already, and Axel agrees with that and says that in that case they should just vote Justin out. However, Eva points out that for two eliminations now, Justin has been sent to Boney Island, so that chance of voting him off are slim to none. That's why they need to choose Brick or Bierdo. Bierdo in Confessional says that he's perfectly fine with this team. Axel, Eva, and himself can make it to the final three, and if the challenge has something to do with intelligence, he will earn the million with no difficulty whatsoever. Though if there is a chance he can ditch the two strongest people sometime in merge, he will take the chance. Brick says in Confessional that he doesn't know what to do now. He's screwed no matter how he looks at it. I mean, now that Damien is gone, there is no way they will vote off Bierdo, especially since he suspects that Eva and Axel know he flipped in that one vote. They don't talk to him the way they used to. Brick asks Justin what they should do, and Justin says that honestly, he doesn't care, as he's safe from every vote. His team will keep sending him to Boney Island, and eventually they will have to pick themselves off. Brick is just an unfortunate casualty. Sammy goes to Tyler and apologizes profusely for what she did, saying that she wants to be friends at least, and Tyler says that he just can't understand betraying the group. Even if Ella wanted to leave, she shouldn't have pulled the trigger on her. Now they don't hold any majority. Sammy says that as long as she can convince Wayne to vote B, they will hold majority, and Tyler asks if she promises not to keep any secrets from him again, and Sammy swears not to anymore. Joe is listening to the conversation, and in confessional says that Sammy is Tyler's only real ally. If she goes, then he will have to rely on her, and then she can ditch B, who is too smart for his own good. Chris welcomes them to their next challenge. Each team will have two members of their team carrying a totem. The rest of their team will wait at a destination a mile away. Once the two members who are carrying the totem arrive, the other team may disassemble the totem to find a pair of keys that they can use to unlock a treasure chest. I will warn you though, there are a lot of keys and only one key fits the lock. Now choose who will carry and who will help try to unlock the chest. Joe says that Wayne and Raj should do it and Raj agrees, saying together they're like two corns on a cob. Axel says her and Brick can do it, and Brick in Confessional says that he hopes this is a test to see if he's more useful than Bierdo. Axel in Confessional says that she just has to make sure Bierdo, Brick, and Justin don't team up to double-cross her and Eva. The two teams start, but while they wait, B and Bierdo both examine the locks, narrowing down the possible key options before the totem even arrives. After a long hike, Axel and Brick make it first, and Eva immediately smashes the totem to get the keys. They then start the arduous journey of finding which identical key fits the lock. Wayne and Raj are slowly getting there, but they are much slower than if Joe and Wayne slash Raj were carrying it. Agitated alligators still can't find the key, and Eva asks if it's even on the keychain, but before she can break the keys with just her fist, Axel tells her that it's okay, and she says that she's gonna go for a walk. In Confessional, Eva says that she doesn't like Axel or anything, she just makes her feel more calm and happy when she's around. Wayne and Raj finally arrive, and Tyler says that he's gonna rock this challenge before fumbling with a totem to try and open it before Joe just smashes it and takes the keychain. Joe hands it to B and tells him to do this since he's the smart one and he nods his head. B takes the key that would unlock their chest and slips it over to Bierdo since if Bierdo were to go to elimination, there's a 50-50 shot he gets eliminated. Agitated alligators unlock the chest and Chris says that they win immunity. Joe asks what the hell happened. She thought B was smart and B shrugs his shoulders. Before Joe can begin forming a group to eliminate B though, Bierdo says that they are sending B to Boney Island. In confessional, Bierdo says that the plan was simple. B throws the challenge and he guarantees his safety from the vote, so either Tyler or Sammy goes home instead. Before elimination, Sammy goes to Wayne and says that sadly they need to vote off Tyler. Wayne asks why not Joe, and Sammy says that Joe is just really helpful in challenges and Tyler as well. Tyler emerges from his hiding spot and says that he knew she would backstab him again. Sammy tries to apologize, saying she's just looking out for what's best for the team, Ella Stang would have just brought the team down. Tyler says he could have carried last week's challenge, and Sammy says that was just one challenge. What about the future ones? Ones that required athleticism he lacked. 
Wayne and Raj in Confessional say that this is like watching parents fight. It's awkward and you don't know who to side with. At Elimination, Chris says that this was probably the most pathetic showing yet. However, the person who probably should be voted out isn't here. So, Chef, you have an easy job today. You don't have to... Chef interrupts and says he gets paid for doing this part of the episode. Joe, your leadership failed. Again. Every time you lead, your team loses. Tyler, you're taking everything so personally without thinking about the game. People need to leave for there to be a winner. And Sammy, you did betray Tyler whether you want to admit to or not, and then you went behind his back again after saying you wouldn't do that. Thanks, Chef. Here's who is safe. Wayne and Raj. Joe. And finally, Tyler, you are safe. Wayne asks how that could be. Raj voted Tyler, right? Raj says that honestly, he doesn't like the thought of Sammy betraying Wayne. Sammy stands up and says that she's sorry to Tyler, she really let the game get to her, and she's becoming more like her sister the longer she's here. Some time back home will do her some good. She will call Wayne if he gets eliminated. Chris then says that becoming better is boring. She's still in. Joe asks what he means by that, and Chris says that this was a non-elimination round. You just voted who you wanted to swap to the other side. Sammy in Confessional says that she has a new agenda. She's gonna get rid of Justin to prove she's a better person than him, and then she will take down Beardo's alliance piece by piece. She knows B must be working with Beardo. B's too smart to let a simple lock beat him. Even though Tyler hates her right now, she will prove to both Wayne and Tyler that she's reflected on her actions. And that's that for episode 8 of Total Drama Redemption Island. What did you think? Question of the week. With so much drama, who would you personally trust? I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below, and I'll see you all next time on Total Drama Redemption Island.